a lot of us um, are single and if you are single um, then Valentine's Day can be quite hard. Um, it's hard for several reasons. Firstly, of course, because you don't have um, the, uh, the, the significant other to enjoy on that day, but more so because you haven't got anybody to buy anything for and, of course, therefore will not receive either. Um, I'm actually quite opposed to Valentine's Day. Um, it's something that I used to not bother with at all, but now it actually irritates me, and I'll explain why. Um, there's no uh, true um, basis for Valentine's Day at all. There are several Saint Valentines um, recognised by the Roman Catholic Church. I don't even think they're recognised by the Anglican Church at all. Um, but none of them are, are particularly sort of well known or um, particularly understood well um, or particularly have much connections with, you know, love or anything like that. Secondly, um, the problem with Valentine's Day is, of course, it's that day where everybody, you know, spoils rotten or, or does something, with, you know, uh, nice for their other half. Um, and I don't think you should be restricted to doing that um, on one day a year. I think that's a bit weird to have the focus, you know, a couple focus. Because if you're a couple, surely you have that sort of relationship all the time. Um, and because it's a bit forced, you know, you must remember Valentine's Day, you must do something nice, you must go out for a meal, surely it becomes a little bit of a drag. Perhaps I'm just saying that because I'm a bitter, twisted person um, who, who doesn't get any love. I don't know from a significant other, other obviously. My main hate uh, for Valentine's Day is because it has now become an excuse for consumerism. Um, Despite the terrible recession and the fact that nobody has any money, um, these companies will uh, sell heaps and heaps and heaps of flowers at huge expense. Chocolates at huge expense, and I might say physical disadvantage if you're trying to diet as well. Um, and people seemingly flock and buy. Um, it makes a lot of money for capitalists um, and uh, consumerism that in this current um, day and age is not getting filtered back down to you know the employees of the uh, of those firms at all but it's being kept by the company because of course everybody's in hard times and they want to make as much profit as they can now more than ever um, lest they go bankrupt or something like that it's become one of those nasty little holidays um, that exist for no particular purpose even if you're in a couple I don't think um, and so my Valentine's Day lament this year um, is, is um, really that, uh, that it annoys me, that I don't like it at all, I don't like the consumerism aspect of it, and I have to say, if I was in a long-term relationship with anybody like that, I would feel exactly the same. I wouldn't participate in it. I'm not just saying that because I'm a bitter, twisted person with no other half. Um, I might be that as well. But I'm not just saying this because, you know, I'm on my own. Um, I'm really saying it because it's, it's a load of consumer twaddle and I'm not going to waste my money uh, and, and fall for that sort of thing. The other thing is, of course, why is the whole world sort of set up um, for, for couples, particularly when we have, um, at the moment, you know, all sorts of population problems. Um, you would have thought that people that uh, were not in a couple not getting married, not having children, um, would be sort of carefully treated. Uh, but they're not. In fact, their lives are a lot harder because, you know, they only have one wage coming in, uh, whereas if you're in a couple, of course, you have two wages coming in. So even if they're two small wages, they still add up to more than one small wage. Um, congratulations, I think, must go to uh, the uh, local councils who, when doing their uh, council tax, give a deduction to, um, you know, single occupancy, uh, people who live on their own, um, because it's such a strain. Um, of course, it's a pity uh, that even with doing that, their rates of, of taxation are horrifically high. Um, I pay, you know, about £75 per month for uh, uh, this, this small flat. That's with 
the 25% um, uh, single person occupancy saving. So, you know, how I don't know I'd be expected to manage if they didn't do that, I don't know. So I think it's more a case of it's the only way they'll get any tax. Um, it's not really a benefit. So, you know, now that I've had my sort of morbid um, uh, lamentation uh, about the, the stupidity of Valentine's Day and spent, I have to say, about five minutes and 40 seconds doing it, I'm going to cast Valentine's and all that shite away from my mind um, and enjoy the rest of the year uh, until this time next year when I shall do um, another Valentine's lament, probably. Um, until then, uh, you know, I, I, I shall bid you farewell.